Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. Now, 20 here, this is the same thing as 10 times 2. So now I have 10 to the power of 20 over 10 times 2 to the power of 10. And now this can be rewritten. So an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power a times b to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So 10 times 2 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a over b times c, this can be written as 1 over b times a over c. So 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 10, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 10 to the power of 20 over 10 to the power of 10, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 20 minus 10. And 20 minus 10 is 10, so I have 1 over 2 times 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now, if I multiply these two, I get 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 10 to the power of 10 over 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 10 over 2 to the power of 10. And 10 over 2 is 5. So I have 5 to the power of 10, and this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x squared over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81. So first off, 9 here, this is the same thing as 3 squared. And 81, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. So if I replace 9 and 81 with 3 squared and 3 to the power of 4, I have 3 to the power of x squared over 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 4. So now, if you notice, all our bases here are all 3. And this, is actually, this actually makes it much simpler to solve this problem. So now another property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 4. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now we have an algebraic equation to solve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now I have a quadratic equation. And to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 4. So I have x is equal to negative b, so negative negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4. Now I have this all over 2a, so 
2 times 1. Now I have x is equal to negative negative 2 is positive 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is positive 4, minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, all over 2, 2 times 1, which is 2. Now I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus negative 16 is 4 plus 16 over 2. 4 plus 16 is 20, so I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now, 20, we can actually simplify this radical. So 20, this is the same thing as 10 times 2. And 10, this is the same thing as 5 times 2. So as you can see, 2 here, this is going to be our outside number. And 5, because this is all that's left, is going to be what's in our inside. So we have 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. Now we can simply divide both these terms by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I have 1 plus or minus 2, this 2 root 5 over 2 is simply square root 5. So, my two solutions for x are x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5, and x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5. 60 to the power of 10 over 36 to the power of 5. So, I have four multiple choice answers which you guys can try to solve for. So A, A, this is 5 to the power of 5, B, this is going to be 10 to the power of 10, C, it's going to be 12 to the power of 6, and D, it's going to be 8 to the power of 6. So if you guys want, you can go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this problem now. All right. So to solve this problem, 36, this is the same thing as 6 to the power of 2, or 6 squared. So now I have 60 to the power of 10 over 6 squared to the power of 5. I simply substituted in 6 squared for 36. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 6 to the power of 2 times 5. I have this over 6 to the power of 10. Now 2 times 5, that's 10. So I have 60 to the power of 10 over 6 to the power of 10. And now, another property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 6 to the power of 10 over 6 to the power of 10 this is going to equal 60 over 6 to the power of 10. And 60 over 6, that is simply equal to 10. So I have 10 to the power of 10. And if you check the multiple choice, the answer for this is B. And 10 to the power of 10, this can also be simplified. 10 to the power of 10, this is equal to 10 times 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 10. So essentially 10 multiplied by itself 10 times. And this is the same thing as 1 with 10 zeros. So I have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 zeros. So our answer here is 10 billion.